Hello everybody, in this beginner Rhino 3D modeling tutorial, I would like to demonstrate the modeling of this conceptual casing. And in this part of the video demo, I will be focusing on the modeling of its main form, which is this as shown over here. Okay, let's start. I've already created the initial construction lines and placed the reference images so that I don't have to bore you with these kind of processes. Now what I need to do is to draw the curves in the various autographic views and then convert them into their 3D prompts. Okay, let's start. Let's start by maybe creating the plot profile. And make sure that the object end snap is turned on, the project is turned on. Here as well. Somewhere here. I just want to quickly get the shape. Yeah, that will do. And then I need to create a line here. Make sure the end is turned on for the object snap. Make it like it's okay. okay. And we'll trim off these excesses. Cutting object is this. Cut the trim is this, and it's okay. So we got this, and now um, don't create this line. Okay, now that we have created the side profiles, generally I'm going to create the top ones. Um, let's go to the top view. Make sure that the end stamp is turned on. I reckon I need another point here. Insert not. Need to create a corresponding curve here, so but it's kind of hard to find this point. So I'm going to put a point. Snap it. Okay, can have it here actually. Snap it here and then snap it here so that we can see the uh curves position in the top view. Okay, of the 
the curves end okay so uh this make sure project is turned on make sure step to point is turned on okay. quickly just get shape up okay for this again um need to snap here and then pull so make sure it's aligned to simply snap to end drag it out now let's do some fine adjustments Okay, let's start to create the 3D curves using curve from two view. Don't think this is a correct one, sorry. Press delete. Curve from two view. This is how it looks like in the side view. This is how it looks like in the top view. Yep. So we got this. Okay. And then use the rebuild curve non uniform to reduce the control points. Let me see whether I can bring this up. Okay. It's fine. Then let's repeat the process again. This is how it looks like the side view. This is how it looks like the top view. Sorry, wrong one. This and this. Sorry, come from two view. This is how it looks like in the side view. This is how it looks like in the top view. And we got this. And then we use the rebuild curve non uniform. Okay, make sure it's uh, delete input set to yes. You might still be able to reduce the control points. Um, I'm not going to bore you with the process. I'll just reduce a little bit. Okay. So we can actually continue to reduce to make it um, smoother. I'm not going to bore you with the process. Okay, do the same for this. Okay. Like, okay, like reduce. Now let's create this curve and this curve. Let's start by creating this curve first. Make sure this project is turned on on the object snap. Second last point, last point should be aligned. I'm not going to bore you with the minor adjustments. Like yeah. that, okay. Let's put a point so you can see. Another point so you can see from another view. Let's go to this view. Let's use this one bullet point snap to here can take out the project 
that to here. To the same for this. Now let's start to create the surface. Let's create the top surface. I'm going to mirror this to the other side. Using the mirror. And to ensure that uh, this part is tangent, I'm going to do the match curve. Match this to this and set the tangency average curves and repeat the same process here okay average curve tangency let's create the first surface i reckon i can use a lot one two three okay yeah, something like that. Okay, as this is gonna be a beginner level kind of uh, Rhino video demo, uh, I'm not going to do the fine adjustments or refinement of the surface. Okay, but if you're doing a more advanced surfacing process, you need to do more refinements to a surface. But as I mentioned, this is going to be a beginner type modeling i'm not going to rebuild this and now let's create a site i reckon i can use a sweep to rail first rail second rail sweep shape or cross section sweep shape or cross section uh, let's remove this okay i got something like that and if you want to be able to have more control over the profile you can use the s slash but i'm not going to do that now okay so we got something like that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to blend this part but because the control points are converging over here and uh, this place will present a problem and same with this place as well so um to circumvent this issue i'm going to do a trick test i'm going to cut away these areas okay cut with these areas so that I can do a nicer kind of a blending over here or surface I reckon the easiest way to do it is to just create a circle around here circle around curve here and then do like a sweep to cut off an even gap so circle around curve, press it to the end here, just do a tiny one or two, not, not too much, something like that will do, and let's sweep, using the sweep one, select rail with this, sweep shape with this, this to the other side join this okay now uh let's just cut off this small little region here okay using i think I just use split will do select object split this cutting object is this enter don't need this anymore now you can remove this select this small little region here press delete okay so we got like a nice even uh spacing over here and i'm going to hide all these curves for the moment because i don't need them so that i can concentrate on building these areas the iso curves as well 
uh, before I create this, I need to cut away this half to create a blank curve here, okay? Cut to this view and use this rectangular plane to be used as a cutting object. And let's do a trim cutting object. Let me trim this, okay? Don't need this. I don't need this anymore. Press delete, and now let's just create like a nice blend curve here. You can use the curve tool, just for curve blend. Something like that. Uh, I think this looks quite okay to me. Make sure that they are both, uh, the one and two are both set to curvature, so that you can have nice transition here. Do the same part back. Something like that. Let's create this surface, and I reckon I can use the sweep to rail. First rail, second rail, sweep shape across section. Oops, there's a, there's a break here, which is not a good sign. Um. I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these two edge. Okay, if there's a break, that means it's not too good here. But um, anyway, let's just merge the edge first. This repeat this sweep to rail again. First rail, second rail, sweep shape cross section, sweep shape cross section. Got like that. Okay, and then let's uh, make sure that the A and B edges are set to curvature for nicer, nicer blend. Okay, and if you want to like adjust or control the the sweep profile here, you can use the add slash. So with that, I think we already, like got the basic shit now to mirror this to the other side yeah we got a shape and the last thing you need to do is just to cover here and I guess we can very easily do so by using this surface on planar curves and to make this to a solid, click the join. Let's check whether it's a solid. Analyze mass property volume. Great, it's a solid. Okay, with that, I come to the end of this section. Hope that's been useful. Bye.